नमस्कार राम राम ओम नमः शिवाय वेलकम टू योर चैनल एसी एस्ट्रो वंस अगेन अवर सीरीज अबाउट द भ्रिगु ज्योतिष वी आर टेलिंग यू दैट सन इन डिफरेंट हाउसेस फॉर ऑल असेंडेंट्स एरीज एंड टॉरस वी ऑलरेडी डिड एंड नाउ दिस इज द टाइम फॉर द जेमिनी असेंडेंट हाउ द प्लैनेट सन परफॉर्म्स इन ऑल ट्वेल्व हाउसेज फॉर द जेमिनी असेंडेंट दिस इज अ कम्प्लीट सीरीज कीप वॉचिंग लेट्स वेलकम आकाश जी विद हिज रिसर्च नमस्कार रोहित जी सो टुडे वी आर गोना टॉक अबाउट सन सन इन ऑल ज्योतिष इट इज अगेन अ पार्ट ऑफ वेदिक ज्योतिष वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड हियर वेन वी टॉक अबाउट सन सो ऑल द पीपल रोहित जी इफ यू वॉन्ट गिव अस्क्लेमर Yes, uh, I want to say that before starting this for all twelve ascendant, I would I would like to tell all people, those who are Gemini ascendant, they see the three number is written in the first house. That means you all are Gemini. Who's birth chart? Open your birth chart in any software. Just see if there is a three number written there in the first house. You are Gemini ascendant, and this video is for you. Okay. Yes, Roy Ji. So now, when Sun is in the first house for Gemini ascendant, so remember that Gemini ascendant, uh, the Lord of the ascendant is Mercury, and Mercury has given Sun the third house that is of extreme hard work. So here, people who have Sun in the first house of Gemini ascendant does influential deeds, has support of brothers and sisters, works with great strength. Such people can become very good in terms of uh, uh, soldier or a policeman and. anything related military such kind of works and here there is an influence in the house of wife which is because of the aspect the seventh aspect of sun on the seventh house it will increase the strength of your physical pleasures and also turn you into a sportsman so if the third house is actually very much in the mars if mars is very good in this chart then sun and mars can make you a very good sportsman or a very good uh, soldier or a military or in police and any kind of service that requires strength okay roji so when uh, sun is in the second house that is cancer now here understand uh, it is a very favorable place for sun and sun only the problem that sun is having is sitting 12th from itself if you see that the house of sun is third house from its house it is sitting 12th so remember that it, you do extreme hard work for increase increase of your wealth you cannot get wealth easily you have to do extreme hard work and remember it is sitting 12th from itself so separation with brothers and sisters can be indicated for people who have sun in such position and there is uh, you know uh, influence in connection with wealth because of the separation when the separation happens between brother and sisters it is due to the wealth or due to property because see from the second house sun is aspecting the eighth house of shared resources so sir and sun is a planet of separative tendency so such people get separate due to wealth but uh, if uh, they are thinking of success in physical strength it is going to be 100% achievable and due to their physical strength only their money will also increase in their so they cannot just sit idle and sit and work from home and get money they have to go out and you know burn themselves to get money uh here such people can become a door to door marketer you know earlier in days where everyone used to come door to door they used to do marketing but in present day it can be marketing job or any kind of marketing related work which needs a very mass appeal so this is what sun in the second house for gemini ascendant mean now moving forward sun in the third house so now remember third is in his own uh, sun is in his own house okay such people have great physical strength because the the planet of strength is sitting in the own house now depending on the aspect received by sun from other planets it can create little bit of trouble but otherwise sun here gives you great physical strength gets dignity in the house of brothers and sisters will be well respected with brothers and sisters has less faith in god just remember the aspect of sun that is the seventh aspect which is going on the ninth house so such people will have very less faith in god but they will be karmic they will be karma oriented people that i do not have faith in god i i don't go to temple and all but i do good deeds in life and they gain extreme wealth in the period of sun and venus why venus it is the owner of the fifth house 
ओके रोहित जी विच इज द पक्का स्थान ऑफ सन सो इफ यू से इन काल पुरुष कुंडली इट इज द ओनर ऑफ द फिफ्थ हाउस सो हियर वेन एवर वीनस एक्टिवेट फॉर देम दे विल गेन एक्सट्रीम वेल्थ हियर रोहित जी moving forward sun in the fourth house now when sun is in the fourth house of virgo it gives happiness of brothers and sisters so it's very good because it is sitting one house after so you know in the uh, in the um, second house if sun sits then it will give uh, separation from brothers and sisters because it's, it is sitting 12th from the sign of leo but here it is sitting second from the sign of leo so it will give you happiness of brothers and sisters you will get great get strength of buildings property you know that means there will be a lot of real estate easy work if you do even less labor work less uh, uh, what you say less effort you will still gain more uh, profit out of it you will get influence in the house of mother respect to father and get honor and influence in connection with government and society you will also have business due to the due to the aspect of sun's 10th aspect of authority on the 10th house and you can also get a government job if you try for it so very auspicious placement of sun here extremely good now remember here sun is in the 5th house so 5th house is the pakka ghar of sun but it is in a debilitated state right now right rohit ji when sun comes in the 7th libra it becomes debilitated now here it will be good for education because uh depends on, also on depends on the state of venus that where venus is what venus is doing right now but here it also says that there may be some kind of uh you know uh, education will be good but on the other hand it is not good for children basically not good for the birth of children you can actually have some kind of problem in time, in in birth of a children you may gain uh, from business and startups you know because nowadays startup is the new thing and sun is start on new day so whenever you do any startup in the period of sun or in the antar dash of sun if sun is placed here then such startup can shed a good light on your life you can also remember because it is the house of venus and venus is the 12th house lord as well so going to education in foreign country is also possible but here extremely creative very good but you will be adamant and you will temper will be very high you will say my way or no way this is what your attitude will be so if you can mold a little bit it is going to be good for you in the future run because nowadays people who have a lot of attitude does not have any kind of presence in the current market nowadays you need to be adjusting with each and everything sun is in the 6th house so when sun is in the 6th house now see it is fourth from the third here such people do lot of uh, you know hard work and they gain a lot of money through hard work your enemies will not be able to trouble you you will get inner peace when your enemy will you know be destroyed such people are little cynical also they think bad about other people which should not be the case now also understand that such people have a very high influence from the maternal grandfather okay rohit it has to be very sure that grandfather or the property and the influence that is or the uh, your early childhood goes in the place of your maternal grandfather you stay there at the early stage of your, your daily work and routine happen through the maternal grandfather house so such people may have some problem related to their father remember this their father will also be affected on the other side rohit ji because uh, sun is aspecting the 12th house such people can have uneasiness in expenditure and death can increase because this is the house of death and sun is sitting fourth from itself fourth house whenever sun is sitting fourth from itself it is gains also so somehow sun gains of debt also is seen here and mostly that debt will be related to some personal interest which will not work in your favor so make sure that all your dreams and all just take cal calculated risks moving forward sun in the 6th house wait ji so 7th house sorry huge influence in the side of wife that means your wife will be extremely controlling you will be under the control of your wife and you will get progress also after marriage any one who has not uh, just uh, forget any kind of chart or ascendant any one who has sun in the 7th house will get progress through wife only after marriage only because sun aspects the first house in any any chart whatever it is is debilitated or exalted it will make sure that whenever sun comes in the 7th house you will get any kind of benefit only after marriage great 
power of physical pleasures, get supports of brothers and sisters in any partnership business. Again, remember, sun is sitting one, two, three, four, fifth from the third house. So you will get extreme happiness and you know pleasures and your you and your brother together or sisters together can become very good partners and very creative partners can attain a very high post Se seventh house is also the house tenth from the tenth so that means it is house of designation so such people can achieve very high post in terms of uh, in sun dasha and antar dasha that can be related to politics in your business in your work anything it can be anything but you will achieve great uh, respect as well as high post okay moving on to sun in the eighth house Roy ji here because it is in the eighth house and sitting sixth from the third house here you will feel some weakness in part of energy and strength you will not have energy and strength such people are coward people such people will be little bit scared of everything there will be losses through brothers and sisters and mostly uh, whenever you are sick it is because of the influence of planets on your brothers and sisters you will you will use uh, great you will do great effort and you will there will be secret power of improving the loss of your wealth but again you will be a very extremely secretive person which will give you other losses there will be you know it is sitting six from itself so there will be some worries in daily routine through government what is the sixth house law and order and when sun is sitting six from it is pakka sign then that means there will be some worries in daily routine through government and because of the situation and secretive nature, you might also use some kind of secret and unjust means to earn. So you have to be careful in this situation. And those people who are learning astrology, whenever they see such kind of chart and they want to do any business with such persons, you need to be well aware that this person will try to give you some kind of hard time. Sun in the ninth house. Luigi. Ninth house is a very auspicious and sun is sitting eighth from itself now. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight from itself. Now it increases the energy of taking support of destiny. Feel some deficiency in getting success in his profession because it is eight from itself. Okay. It is the time of ups and downs. But it totally gets shared resources, that is, shared strength of his brothers and sisters, has used huge courage, gets some influence due to success of industry. Now, here he has to understand see, there is. Uh, ups and downs that means automatically during the sun dasha and antar dasha there will be extremely good uh, industry like for example he's working as a government um, employee in the sun dasha and antar dasha he will completely grow to the best and when the influence of sun and um, uh, sun antar dasha and all goes away then it will completely fall so such people do not have a very straight or very stable life and such people also have a lot of ego. They will not change their opinions and way of behaving. They will always say, I feel this is the right way and this is the right way. Okay. Here, remember, sun is aspecting its own house, the third house. So your courage only decides your destiny. Your courage and your efforts will decide your destiny. And that is how it will be always up and down. Sun in the 10th house, Pisces, Hoji. Now here, such people make huge profit by energy, strength, and wisdom. Just see 10th house, Hoji. It is the house of Jupiter. So wisdom is 100% sure. And 10th house, when sun, a planet like this, the third house planet goes in the 10th house, such people have a lot of strength, gets big influence of father. Like father plays a very big important role in their life. Get cooperation from brothers and sisters. Progress and influence in house of governments. That such people become politicians. Such people shine. Such people have authority. Such people become judges. Such people become uh, big military officers, big police officers. And they can get success in labor, in any field. If they choose to become a construction guy, if they do not have very other good blind person, they will get success in that also. Anything where hard work is required, they will get success. They will do some good deeds and be very extremely courageous for each such people. Because third house lord is in the 10th house. Okay, and their destiny always rises through hard work. When sun is in the 11th house, Roji, huge gains from elder brothers and sisters, huge gains, and also younger brothers and sisters. But because it is aspecting, see, Roji, now when it was in the Nietzsche stan in the fifth house, it, it did good uh, education, right? 
now here it says weakness in the house of education because it is aspecting it is exalted now very good position there is going to be very much gains and everything good but education will be impacted such people we say right they are college dropout but a billionaire such people are the case in such case when son is in this position now here such people may use some improper and bitter words and also have some problem with children so female who have these kind of uh, uh, placements might uh, also get some problem you know in terms of abortion or some miscarriages so that is the clear interpretation when we see a husband child and see navamsha and such placement is placed then we see that there can be loss of child for them very careless overjoyed and can have impact on the social circle but very wealthy wealthy extremely lucky in wealth extremely lucky can also get defamed that this person is a bad person like just take an example of a politician we will say that this is the worst politician but look at his wealth he will be extremely wealthy so socially you will not be acceptable and people on back of you will give you mm, bad things will talk bad about you but somehow you'll be extremely wealthy moving forward roji sun in the 12th house now here it is not a very favorable place for sun to be if we see it is from the third house it is sitting 10th from itself 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 great loss and weakness in face eyes eyes if moon is by chance sitting in the um sixth house and aspecting sun and moon are aspecting each other such people can also turn blind such people can have lot of problem in their eyes such people can get night blindness such people can have be color blind such people can face some loss and separation from brothers and sisters spends much and restless in house of expenditure huge influence in the house of enemies for you enemies huge influence there will be lot of hidden enemies for such people they do not care for ill health and travel a lot such people are very fortunate in terms of getting money and all but otherwise there is always some losses like they will earn loss earn loss everyone will think that they are crooked people they will not even do anything good in their life so it is extremely not a very good position for sun to be in So, Rajiv, this is what Sun in the twelve houses for Gemini ascendant mean. Now, here it does not only say this much, but they can all. It also says that there are other planets and influences of other planets which play another big role, Rajiv, and they their influence will make sure that how Sun gives you extreme results. For that, a complete birth chart analysis is required. Yes, this is just an interpretation about the one planet, how it revolves in the twelve houses, and what result it will give. This is a series starting from Aries to Pisces. Now we are doing Gemini today, but yes, we for a complete uh, birth chart analysis, we need to see other aspects, depletions, exaltations, Maha Dasha, Antar Dasha, Nakshatra, so many things. So this is just an initiative to spread in uh, Vedic astrology, but for complete uh, birth chart analysis. you need to consult an astrologer thank you akashji thank you very much we are now looking forward for the cancer ascendant in the next video and your series about the dreamology is really a great appreciated series thanks for that because these are the you know parts of our vedic astrology unseen way not in direct way but yes people need to know this in very scientific manner and this is a great initiative by you thank you very much for that also thank, thank you akashji thank you and please keep sharing keep subscribing keep blessing acs tro we'll meet you in next video till then jai shri ram jai shri ram